okay if you just watched video number one that covers one through four um, you just learned about insult and how we can use insult for questions one through four on our review now insult you can only use when there is an equal sign or there is one variable and you have to have both of these conditions so when we look at five through eight we look at these symbols and we notice that they're not equal signs. So we cannot use insult, which means we need to solve by hand. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start getting rid of things that are not with our variable. And we have a variable of n. The five is attached to the n. So I'm gonna get rid of this plus three. To get rid of plus three, I'm going to subtract three on both sides. Three is greater than or equal to n over five. Now, when we say n over 5, it really means we're dividing by 5. So to get rid of dividing by 5, I'm going to multiply by 5 because that is the opposite of dividing. These are going to go away. turns into a 1. So we have 15 is greater than or equal to n. Now, that is the answer. But we like to write the answer where the n comes first because it's easier to read the problem. So we're going to take the n and put it... Oops. Take the n and put it in the front. The arrow of our symbol is kind of pointing towards n. So I still need it to point towards the n. I'm just flipping around the whole thing. And the 15 is going to go on this side. So we can have any numbers for our solution that are less than or equal to 15. Okay, looking at number 6. We have got another inequality, but this time we have a number that is on the outside of our parentheses. You know that we need to distribute that number. And when we distribute, it means to multiply. So negative 3 times k gives us a negative 3k. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. We're going to keep the rest of this. And remember, don't just guess on these numbers. If you're not sure, put the numbers in your calculator. This negative 3 is attached to k, so I'm going to get rid of the minus 18 first. I'm going to keep my symbol, because nothing's really changed yet. I'm just simplifying a little bit. Negative 15 plus 18 is going to give me a positive 3, and I'm left with negative 3k. Now this negative 3 is attached to the k by multiplication. So to do the opposite, I need to divide on both sides by negative 3. I have to take the negative with the 3. This becomes a 1, so we're left with 1k, or just k. Now when I divide by a negative, I have to flip my symbol, because that's one of the rules we have. So we flipped our symbol. k is greater than, and then 3 divided by negative 3 is a negative 1. On number seven, we've got more going on here. We have multiple x's, but it's okay because they're the same variable. So we're just gonna start simplifying. Just like number six, we have a number on the outside of the parentheses. So I'm going to distribute that number. Negative eight x, so negative eight times x is negative eight x. Negative eight times negative eight is 64, a positive 64. I'm going to bring the rest of my numbers down. I just copied these down. Now I'm going to simplify what we have. So I've got two things, two terms that have an x. Negative 8x minus 8x. It's going to give us negative 16x plus 64 is 112. So, I want to keep the negative 16 with the x right now. They're attached. I'm going to get rid of the 64 that was being added by subtracting it. I'm left with negative 16x is greater than, and you may want to type this in your calculator. So, we're going to do 112 minus 64 should get us a positive 48. The negative 16 and the x are attached by multiplication, so to get rid of them, I'm going to divide. And I have to make sure I bring the negative with me. When I divide by a negative number, 
I have to flip my symbol. It was greater than, it's now less than. And 48 divided by negative 16 is a negative 3. Now remember, it's not just dividing by a negative, it's also multiplying by a negative. So if we happen to multiply by a negative, that would also change our sign, or our symbol. But it's only when you multiply by a negative on both sides. So this multiplied by a negative is not a big deal because we're not doing that on both sides. Okay, our last one from 4 through 8 is number 8. So once again, I have a negative on the outside. Okay, it doesn't matter that's negative. We have a number on the outside of the parentheses, negative 3. We're going to distribute, I see a theme here. Oh, y'all, Miss Tate is tired. Apologize for the mistake, erase that. Negative 3 times 4 is a negative 12. Negative 3 times a negative 8x is going to be a positive, because negative times negative is positive, 24x which is less than 180. Okay, now I'm just solving like normal. So the 24 is attached to the x, it means I'm gonna get rid of the 12 first. It's being subtracted, so I'm going to add on both sides. This becomes a zero. 24x is less than 192. So, the next step is to get rid of this 24. It's currently attached to the x by multiplication. Divide on both sides. We get x is less than, and you can type this in your calculator, and you should get positive 8. Now, notice this time I divided by a number that was not negative, so I did not flip my symbol. So, please make sure that you know how to do all of these questions. They're going to look very similar on your exam. May the odds be ever in your favor.